guys. Good morning. Have my coffee here. Um, my kids are awake as you can see. I need to get this video filmed because I'm anxious about something. So if you saw my thumbnail, I finally got like a real three tiered tray. And I love mine that I made. Don't get me wrong. It works. I had it for a couple years now, but it's not the same. And I have been waiting and waiting for these to go on sale. They had a bunch of different kinds. They even had two tier trays, um, but I'm all about the three. And I saw my sister, not my real sister. You guys are still getting confused with that. And so I'll explain it again. Cassie, the bargain budgeter, has a channel. I refer to her as my sister. None of my sisters actually have a channel. So when I say my sister, that's who I'm talking about. Clear that up. I saw her haul one and I didn't run out right away and get one. I waited, um, but I needed to go to Hobby Lobby yesterday. Um, I will be posting a picture on my community tab of a summer DIY that I did. And I needed, if you guys remember, I hauled a bag of letters in my last Hobby Lobby haul. Well, I went to <clears throat> the Hobby Lobby that's like closest to me, the one, <coughs> sorry, the one that's closest to me, the one I always go to, that's not where I got those letters. I got them at a different Hobby Lobby. And this Hobby Lobby didn't have those letters, of course, and I was missing a one of the because it tells you on the back how many you get and one of the m's was broken in the bag and i couldn't fix it so i needed to go get another um bag but they didn't have that same font so i bought one this time it wasn't on sale so it was 4.49 she actually charged me 4.99 but it's okay i i don't really care um and i was like crossing my fingers that none of the m's were broken I tried looking in the bag to make sure that it wasn't broken. So I already got into it as you can see, but this is the font. It is different than the one I got. So I needed to go get that and I needed to get paper, well like card stock, cause I am working on a pocket letter that I wanna get out next week. I'm actually working on a couple of them. So hopefully I can get them done. I like using card stock better than construction paper. You guys know my pocket letters, I make it so that you can't, you don't take stuff out of the pockets. You, I just like to leave it all so that way you can look at it whenever you want. So these weren't on sale, um, but I got like this hot pink. I got a really light pink. And like I said, this is cardstock and two different shades of purple. So that way I can use these for pocket letters. So I got some cardstock paper and then I also got some paint just because it was on sale. And when I was doing this, I had to use like a Halloween orange and I found, and these were on, like I said, these were on sale. So they were 87 cents each and it's Anita's all purpose acrylic craft paint. Um, I got the color um, Sunshine Yellow, this really pretty yellow, and then I got Tangerine Orange, which I would have used for the that, but it's okay. I, it still came out really good, so I got paint, and then, like I said, if you saw my thumbnail, I finally got a three-tier tray. And it was originally $39.99 and I got it for $23.99. So 24 bucks for a really sturdy, nice tier tray. I'm excited about it. Like I said, I, I always try and make my own stuff, but when it comes to a tray like this, I've been wanting a real one for a really long time. I'm not gonna throw away my other one. I'll keep it and find somewhere to put it I'm not sure yet um, I don't really have that much room for it right now but I was so excited that these were on sale because they're calling this spring it says the spring shop so all their spring stuff was 40% off so that's all I got from Hobby Lobby 
Um, like I said, I mainly went to get paper and the wood letters. So stay tuned later today in the afternoon, I will post a picture of a summer DIY I made with these letters. It came out so cute, I can't wait. So I'm gonna show you real quick what I got from Dollar General, cause it's not a lot. Um, so I went to Dollar General after I went to Hobby Lobby and I knew I got this tray, so I was gonna, I wanna buy some new stuff to decorate it. Um, Shannon got a coloring book with Lilo and Stitch. She doesn't have Lilo and Stitch. She loves this movie. It was only a dollar, so I let her get that. Leland didn't want a coloring book. He got one of those like activity packs. It was only a dollar and it was Care Bears and it comes with the little tiny book, the sticker sheet and like four crayons. That's what he got, but he already opened it in the car. So she got that. And then I got these Office Hub Permanent Markers, ultra fine, quick drying, eight pack this was two dollars and it has all colors in it so I got that for when I'm writing little notes in friend mail or on cards or whatever I'll have a variety of pens or markers I only got one fourth of July thing um, I actually really like this because it's in the heart shape I'm not gonna take it apart I'm going to leave it exactly how it is the only thing is I might add something in the middle, maybe, but I am I love that it's a heart for 4th of July because it matches my stuff. It was $3, so I got that. I might hang it in my kitchen or in here. I'm not sure yet. And then I also found this candle, and it smells really good, and it was only a dollar. Um, they also had another one, and it was pink, and it was something. I don't remember. This one says Hello Spring and it's sea salt and vanilla. Oh my God, it smells so good. And I love the blue color. I figured that would look cute on my tray, my new tier tray or something, I don't know. Same thing with this. It's a little tiny bucket. Um, it was only a dollar and it says Home Sweet Home. So I got that for my tray if I wanna use it. And the last thing I got were three little bunches of, it just says flower market. It was only a dollar. So I got white, yellow, and like purple. So I figured maybe cut them down, put them in this bucket, or I can put them in something else. I'm not sure yet, but I thought these were really nice. They feel real. So. I got three of those and that's it from Dollar General. Oh no, it's not. Sorry. Slow down. What? Hold on, baby. Sorry. My kids are awake. I have to do this right now. I got some Spanish rice. I just got two. I still have some, but I don't like to run low on this because I make it whenever we have tacos and I do a chicken fiesta thing in the crock pot and it's really good and you cook Spanish rice on the stove and then you throw it in the crock pot at the end and it's really good my husband loves it I might have to film that the next time I make it you have to cook that on for six hours though so that's why I don't film but I can always just give you guys the recipe on my community tab or something the next time I make it I'll show you guys a picture of it but I got two more Spanish rice because I haven't been able to find it at the 99 or Dollar Tree I can't find these anymore at Dollar Tree. My husband loves this. It's his favorite candy. He told me this is his actual favorite. He was like, tell your subscribers and then they can send it to you. I'm like, no. But if you see them at Dollar Tree, I can pay you for them because it's only a dollar for a bag. Um, this was $2 because it's a bigger bag. It's a seven ounce bag and it's the Sours. You guys see me haul it from Walmart in the boxes. You don't get a lot in that box and it's only 98 cents. So I got him a big bag and then I found these and they're Fruit Ogo Chews, fruit flavored chewy candy with a juicy burst, 50% more candy. This was only a dollar and it's also a seven ounce bag and you get apple, strawberry, orange, tropical, cherry, and watermelon. And it doesn't expire until 2022, September 2022. So I saw 
couponing girl, Stephanie. I saw her haul these and forgot about them. And then I saw them and I was like, oh yeah, she hauled those. And she said they were really good. So I remembered that and I got a bag. And then Shannon wants to make some chocolate chip cookies for her grandpa. They're going camping this weekend. They're leaving on Sunday. So she, I just bought the easy thing for her to do. Then, you know, me measuring out the flour, the baking soda. This is easier for her. I can give her the butter. She can pour it in the bowl. I can crack the egg for her and then she can just mix it. So it's just the Betty Crocker chocolate chip cookie mix and it's a 17.5 ounce bag all you need is butter and one egg so and this was two dollars too so that's all I got from Dollar General like I said I wanted to get some little small things that I can put on my tray um, my three-tier tray now I will show you guys a picture of it when it's all done um, but I'm so excited that I finally have one because I've seen some at Ross and I've seen some other places and I've seen them at Hobby Lobby when they're not on sale. So I'm just really excited that I have a real one now. Um, not that mine isn't real, it is, but I mean I made it with all Dollar Tree stuff and you know this one's real metal and I'm excited. So that's it for this video. Stay tuned. I'm going to have plenty of other videos for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I would love for you to be part of my YouTube family if you're not already. And until then, and until then I'll see you guys next time. Bye.